Nice to meet you. Never mind, I'll tell you. Hi, my name is Mary Sauber. I was born in Burnison, Scotland, December 26, 1780. I live by the spectacular seaside and love to explore. I was mostly on my own because my father, Lieutenant William George Fairfax Somerville, was captain of the Navy in a way at the time. My mother, Margaret Somerville, never wished to go outside. When, I, when my father came back from the seas, he sent me away to boarding school to act like a lady. I dropped out of school when I was 13 and taught myself to read French, Latin, and Greek. At the age of 24, I married one of my cousins who was a doctor. We had two sons before he died three years later. In 1811, I won a silver medal from the popular mathematical journal. At the age of 27, I continued my mathematical, scientific, and astronomy studies. I then wrote 15 books that related to that. I remarried a year later to my other cousin. We had three daughters and another son before he died in the Russian Navy. My son died three years after that, and to follow, my eldest daughter died in 1820. After that, my son died, and to follow, my eldest daughter died in 1823. In 1840, me and my family moved to Italy, where I conducted many experiments and discovered the concept of the commonly used variable that represents any given number. I also discovered and wrote a book on the magnetic properties of the violet rays of the solar spectrum. Eight years later, I published the most successful and realized physical geography. Around 30 years later, near my death, I finished writing personal recollections of Mary Somerville. <laughs> anyway, I died at the age of 98, Friday, January 26, 1870, and became known as the first woman scientist in English history. I died before I could edit. That's when my daughter became editor and publisher. Anyway,